this time I decided to record what I'm doing because each time I make uh, my sausage or patties or anything uh, with what my ingredients are, I, I, each time it's a different setup. But um, inspired by healthy, vegan, healthy living and also sweet tomato vine to make me some, uh, some more patties. But um, mine is totally different from hers. But um, again, I was inspired by her. But I always keep me a jar of lentils in my refrigerator. They have been soaked for, you know, maybe for a few hours or whatever. And then I strain them and I keep them in my refrigerator because when I want to make me sausages, I basically, this is basically my main ingredient. Um, maybe last time I might have put nuts. I'm not sure. But so far what I've done was I mixed my dry ingredients, which is this time I used rice flour. Last time I'm not even sure what type of flour I used. And also garlic powder onion uh i think it was onion flakes i didn't have i got onion powder but i used the onion flakes um the yeah the chopped onions or whatever i i have onion powder but i decided to use onion flakes and my red pepper flakes and you know all of my dry ingredients red pepper crushed red peppers cayenne uh, smoked paprika, garlic, onion powder and stuff, and liquid aminos, and all my liquid, I used my, the rest, I have another jar in there, but liquid smoke, and um, chili, no, I don't think, yeah, I might have put chili powder in there, I'm not sure, but ingredients was um, the liquid aminos, the liquid smoke, and I might as well throw this away now. And um, a little moisture, grapeseed oil, which I, it could be any oil, but um, yeah, that was basically the moisture, the liquid ingredients. So I poured my liquid ingredients in here and then added my flour the dry ingredients as I went. So now I'm about ready. What I saw that was different was uh, they added tomato paste in theirs, but I'm not sure if I want tomato paste, so I'm leaving it out. Um, I'm leaving it out. I don't really want a tomatoey taste. Uh, it may not have a tomatoey taste, but I'm going to leave it out. And so I mixed all of my dry ingredients, the beans, the flour, the cayenne, chip, uh, red pepper crushed, smoked paprika, onion and garlic powder and stuff. I mixed all of those in the blender and this is what that was, is. And then all of my liquid ingredients, I combined them and stirred it with my hand. And um, it's kind of thick, but uh, the last time I made patties, I sauteed them in a little level of oil, and they were very good. They were very good, made patties out of these. But this time, inspired by Sweet Tomato Vine, I'm going to make a loaf. And I really was kind of considering putting it on my rotisserie. <laughs> So that I'm, I'm going to try that. I don't know how that's going to work, but I, I kind of want to try putting it on a rotisserie and letting it do what it's going to do. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step out there and do it. I'll get back with you. Wow. I ran out of aluminum foil. So what I'm planning on doing, oh, I made it in. This is how I was inspired by Sweet Tomato Vine. Um, she made a loaf. So this is what inspired me with hers. So what I'm planning on doing, since I'm doing a rotisserie, I don't want to take a chance on putting the thing through it and 
as it's turning around, it may fall down. So what I'm planning on doing is wrapping it in aluminum foil. And I, to my surprise, I had ran out of aluminum foil, but I do be saving large pieces in my refrigerator. So yes, thank you that I, 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 I use it till it can't be used no more. But, um, so what I'm going to do is wrap this in aluminum foil, you know, uh, once before or after, uh, let's see, let's see, maybe I'll put this through there first and then wrap it, but hold on, let me do that. Man, before I realized it, I sprayed my aluminum foil with freaking butter spray, and now I went back and sprayed olive oil spray, and I didn't want to use uh, the olive oil inside of my batter because I didn't want the flavor of olive oil so I use that's the reason I use the grapeseed oil because it's neutral it doesn't add no uh, flavor to it by adding the oil so now what I'm going to do is um, I think I'm going to stick this skewer through first whatever it's called through first and then wrap it so let me get back with you Okay, so, so far I got it in there and I don't even need these hooks because I'm, it's not like it's holding up a bird, a chicken or something. So what, I don't even need those. So now I got to figure out how, I got to remember how did it go inside and I think I see it. So yes, I'm going to uh, wrap it up and stick it in there. One moment. Uh, here we go. I may need two hands for this. What is it? Um, I may need two hands for this, but this is the strategy right here. So, okay. That's that. Now, close up the ends. inside of there all right let me use two hands and I'll show you when I put it inside of the rotisserie okay I got it in there and I noticed that I forgot to add vinegar I think I saw a uh, sweet tomato vine she added uh, uh, I think she added vinegar I'm not sure, but yes, I wouldn't have mind that flavor of the vinegar in there. But now here is the, the, uh, <laughs> I wish I knew how to turn a light on, but yes, I have it set at 375 for about 40 minutes, but I'm going to consider it being done when I start smelling it. So... Here's an experiment. We'll find out together whether that bad boy held up, you know, like a sausage. And maybe I'll have me some sausage and crackers. <laughs> I'll get back with you when I, when I smell it. And it should be done once I start smelling it. Okay. Okay, I got to take it out and I've got to wrap it because the aluminum foil, it, I got to put rubber bands around it. Dang! Okay, let's try this again. Good thing it wasn't hot at all. It hadn't even been on long enough for it to get hot. So, uh, thank God for that. And, okay. Now that's on and now let's put the clock back on and it's on rotisserie yes and about 375 it's not quite 400 but all right back to the drawing board and I got it on uh you put it on 40 but like I say once I start smelling it 
Okay, put it on 40. All right. Okay, back to the drawing board. And I, I wrapped it in um, those things there. And I pray I'll keep my eye on it. Yeah. Hope nothing ain't nothing gonna catch fire or nothing like that, but I'll pray. But I'm gonna keep my eye on it. All right, back to the drawing board. Start this again. Wow, before I knew it, 40 minutes went by just that fast. My goodness. But, um, yeah, I took it out and uh, I didn't smell anything yet, but I. I don't know if it was really turning around because I don't even know if it was still turning around as a rotisserie, but, um, I may want to take it out and just start baking it or something. Boy, it's, it's crispy. It's firm. It's firm. Let me see what's going on here. I don't know what's going on. Wow, that's firm. But as as I said, it is soft on one end and firm on another end because I don't think it was really spinning around because I don't know it was maybe too heavy or something. But I think this side needs to be cooked a little more because that side feels like what I want it to feel like. That feels real good. But this still seems a little soft. So I'm going to stick it back in there for about 20 or so. Well, maybe another 40 minutes. I don't mind if it's tough or, you know, I don't mind. But that feels so good right there. But again, let me stick it back in here. I'm not going to put it on the rotisserie. I'm just going to put it on the pan and let it, um, let it finish baking or whatever. All right, be back. Oh, ah, that skewer was hot. But yeah, the skewer came off kind of clean, but that's probably where it was, like I said, it, it didn't cook all the way on that side. So, but yeah. Uh, okay. All right, let me stick it back in there. Oh, that feels so good. That's what I want right there. All right, let me put it back in the in the in the oven. This is what it's looking like so far. Wow, I just discovered I made a major blooper. Um, I did not put this on rotisserie. And when I how I noticed that, because I put it on 375, which it should have been on rotisserie, because that, that's how I knew it was spinning. I knew I it wasn't spinning because it wasn't on rotisserie. But what I've done is I put it on broil. And that's how I discovered that it was never on freaking rotisserie. Doggone it. Ah, better next time. But yeah, I put it on broil so it could go ahead and cook that side that didn't get, you know, that was still soft. Foot, 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 foot. It's after 12 o'clock. And just to give you an idea how my weather is doing, it's going to be a while before the snow thaws out. And it's supposed to be snowing again uh, Friday and Saturday. And today is Thursday, so I don't think the snow is going to thaw out before tomorrow. So stack them in, stack them up. But the house is lit up from the smell of this sausage loaf and uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is when I do cut into it will it stay together because I oh it's oh yes I put it on broil and that's good and crispy firm yeah will it stay together because already it may be trying to fall apart so Next go round, I may have to use um, some more binding agent. <laughs> but I'm about ready to break this off and test it. I'm going to do it. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, it may be a little too crumbly, but 
The smell of the house, aroma in the house is awesome. Smell like I'm cooking ribs up in here. But um, I know it's too hot for me to sample it. But let me try it. I don't want it to taste like bread, and it's not tasting like bread. I might can work with that. Ooh, and I got it good and spicy. But it's falling apart. Oh. So, I don't know how I would do that. It's falling apart. But the flavor of it is beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Oh boy, it is good. It is so good. It is so good. So, I don't know. I don't know. But whatever condition it's in, it's very good. And spicy. <laughs> but I'm going to cut the video here. And I'm going to turn my stove off. And just let it stay in there. But it is awesome. It tastes very good to me. But it's falling apart. So I may need to add more liquid or something to make it stick more. But... Almost. Have a blessed day.